governments over the years designed for sanitation program so that people in their houses should have toilets and people need not to defecate open but still in India people defecate open. Prime Minister Narendra Modi called for Swachh Bharat. He has also given due emphasis on sanitation programs too. But how to go about it? So in an exclusive interview with Calcalling, the founder of Shulab International Social Service Organization, Mr. Vindeswar Patak, explains the problems of sanitation and makes a way of solution through Toilets for All. We see after Mahatma Gandhi and after independence of India, government of India, state governments, many prime ministers, chief ministers, all took interest in sanitation program. Certainly, in varying degree, somebody took too much interest, somebody take less interest, but the government adopted this program, but it got momentum after it is. And the government of India started uh, helping the urban people, the rural people to have toilets inside the house. If you say UPA government, and this government, both government, I mean the EPA government also try to solve the problems, try to help the people. But a strategy which uh, that government took up, they had to change later on. And uh, it was just to take off, then the government changed. Uh, the present Prime Minister is the first person after Gandhi, who took interest in sanitation and toilet program. For the first time, a Prime Minister of India gave a clarion call to keep India clean, to make India clean, and to provide toilets in all the houses throughout the country, so that nobody should go for defecation in open. So, if you say, if you are a prime minister, if you say, certainly he took up this cause, gave the message, and I say he ignited the minds of Indian people. I'm sorry, sorry. He ignited the minds of Indian people. And now every Indian is talking about sanitation, maybe schools, colleges, governments, uh, offices universities, wherever you go, now they talk about to keep India clean, to make India clean. But what I can say, from the UPA government to this government, the progress is there because of the intervention of Prime Minister. Now every school is having toilet. Target is there to uh, say before independence, the next uh, Independence Day. So that way, uh, progress is there and because of Prime Minister, everybody is now see that how it is done. So that way, uh, if you compare the two governments, certainly this government, because of Prime Minister, is taking more interest in sanitation. Corporate sectors are coming forward. They are trying uh, to help. Now we are working with the uh, Bharti Foundation of the mythos and that is working very well. So others also, the ONGC, the SAIL and other organizations also, they are coming forward. So I hope uh, the government of India will achieve the target by 2019. Only census which we have is 120 million houses have no toilets. Three lakhs schools lack toilets. So that way, uh, we will have to make a program uh, in which uh, there should be a speedy implementation of the program and for that we have to train 
boys and girls on a larger scale, at least 50,000 people have to be trained in this uh, sector. Everybody wants to contribute uh, for toilets and for sanitation. So that way response is very good in CSR. And I hope uh, CSR can change the face of this country. Because after fifth fire plan, or fifth fire, um, what do you call it? Fifth uh, financial commission. The fifth financial commission, the economy of the country was dwindling. And the government had no funds to spend on developments. Now that CSR has bridged the gap, and uh, 20 crores are supposed to come from this sector, I think this amount is spent on the development of India, it will see change. Actually, the government is very keen, committed to achieve the target. What is required, there should be somebody to monitor what has happened in one year and how to achieve in the next four years. So that has to be done intensely. Intense, you can say. That is most important required. Because uh, every year you have to see, and you have to see if there is a gap. And that gap has to be bridged. So that way it is required. You know what is required? Oak try, in some states it was implemented, some not. And after some years, because of political reasons, the octroi has been removed from this country. And that was the main source of income of the municipal corporation. So how one can do something for the uh, city when has no fund? So they struggle for the funds. Anyhow, they manage payments, the salaries of the uh, employees. And therefore, any city has to have money, and that can be spent on priority basis, on centers and toilets. But toilets, urinals, and clean city is the first requirement of any city. I think this is a good move of the government of India to give more resources, more funds to the state governments. Because finally, the state governments have to implement the program. And therefore, this is a, a good move, a good departure. That maximum money is given to the state governments, and minimum is kept at the central level. So the states certainly will implement the projects and program if they get funds. I think this is a good move, and this will help the federal structure of the country. So that way, and every state will uh, develop according to own resources and own uh, might or the, the need also, the labor also they will do. Like the America, they develop their own way. Maximum laws they have in their own, uh, with the state governments. So that way, uh, this is a good departure. And I think uh, this decision of the state go uh, central government is very good.